about YouTube, I know it's been a long, long time. Uh, I'm about 30 pounds lighter and uh, one new training partner fresh since the last time you guys have seen this. So me and Joe are going to be training together for the remainder of my prep and then honestly probably for his too, which will be sometime 2025. Way off. Hopefully we can do this once or twice a week. I'm gonna to try to get more consistent videos out for you guys. I got a new camera guy, he's the shit. Today we're training push. We're probably gonna record like push and leg sessions mostly, but if you all wanna ever see a pool session or anything else, me putting people through sessions, let me know, comment, all that good stuff. We're gonna to get to it. We've been sitting around for about 15 minutes. So let's just uh, get right into the video and see you in the gym. A normal pec deck fly? Yeah, that's, that's what I did okay. as, a, as a substitute. First exercise we're gonna do is the incline cable fly. Joe said he hated it last week, so we might end up switching it back to pec deck. But I did this at a gym over in New Jersey. I really liked it. We might set the cables up a little higher. You guys will see the adjustments we make. So we're gonna to try to get Joe to like this exercise today. I think two or three sets here, it's in my uh, hypertrophy app, which I'll send those screenshots over to the, my video guy to put into the uh, video so you can see exactly what I did on there. So incline cable flies first, and then we'll go on to the camber bar bench. It might be better to put the angle up just a little bit, so we'll see. But the stretch position is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good to me, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Very opposing physiques right now. <laughs> Super lean. Peak massing, can't breathe. Fuck it, I walked up the stairs this morning and Brianni was like, are you okay, what's going on? And I'm like, no, yeah, I'm 260 pounds and I'm out of breath. She's like, well, don't get an attitude. I'm like, the attitude's because I'm fucking dying. <laughs> like, fuck, terrible. That was me above 250, man. Oh, God. You're getting no oxygen. <laughs> you were restricting your oxygen. Terrible, dude. <laughs> Might put it out one. Better? Yep. So I, on the app, because the machine I used last week wasn't a free motion, it wasn't a dual cable system. I don't remember what it was. In that circumstance, when you're using the RPF Hertree app, you would basically just work up to the load that feels very similar. Your, your muscles aren't detecting what the machine says, they're detecting the stimulus, the, the actual tension provided. So I'm just working up to what feels similar. I'm gonna do the reps listed. I'll just change the weight because the machine's different. So, you know, you train long enough, you're pretty intuitive with what machine feels like. Well, like that machine over there might have 30 pounds is the same kind of tension as 50 pounds on this machine. So this should be a pretty good working weight for me. I'm gonna hit it for a couple. And if it feels good, I'm just gonna go right into the set. Guy, do that. The oh, one with great. the fucking blue eyes, white dragon shit. Here you go, Jared. Go, Jared. All the way. <clears throat> yep. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Tall chest, even on the way up. Chest to the ceiling. Yeah. Hold that deep stretch for a second. Don't shift too much out. Beautiful job. Yep.
Fucking pump. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Bitch, that's no way up to you. Contract the pecs. Yeah, good. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Good chest. Good chest. That's always. The hardest thing for me is like keeping that yeah. on the way up. That's most people, wanna, man. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's yeah. like used to moving the scapula there yeah. for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm like, yeah. are we using the pecs or yeah. the front delts? Or, yeah. Uh, it's, it's obviously not going to like fuck you up. But. No, no, I know. It's probably, I mean, honestly, it's probably just due to like getting so, uh, so used to it. And so not used to it, but just like allowing it to happen when bench pressing, you know? And that's weird too, because like you want us to, yeah. yeah but, most polishers keep the retraction I feel like but think about that last little like especially under fatigue what's the key well I mean you might not even know but the cue that most people give with powerlifting is like as you drive up like keep the chest tall exactly drive straight but then at the top if you stall flare your elbows sure. so it's like I just think it's like ingrained motor pattern to do like more of a yeah. for me I feel like this. mostly when someone's pressing and powerlifting this is so much less distance than this yeah like why are we trying to lock out like this no, i know this i know be... it's like mo it's more of a for like repetition effort yeah yeah but under that like fatigue i think it's that last like because i mean i cue people that like whenever you stall out like keep the bar path as straight as possible but then when you stall flare the elbows push back towards the rack yeah so it's probably just some like combination of like not laziness but like laziness yeah. in actual execution yeah. and then just like ingrained motor pattern yeah but, uh, so you notice last week, this, the machine I used there said 82 and a half. This says 33. So it's gonna change the reps back to that two RIR, so two reps in the tank. I got, I think, 14. It wanted me to get 15, no big deal. Uh, that was my first set. And it's asking me about my chest. So my last, from my last session, did I get sore? Did it heal a while ago? Healed just on time. I healed a couple days ago, so it was week one. That'll predict. That'll help with the volume accumulation for the rest of the weeks. But I'm gonna go ahead and do two RIR for my next set. My last one said I got 14 on my second set. I'm gonna aim for 14, 13. Two in the tank, whatever I get, I get. I'll write it down here, and then I'll log it. Same thing as me, big chest. Go, Jared. <laughs> that was 12. So I write down 12. Next week, I'll be able to use the machine again. So it'll probably go like add a set and then I'll probably rep beat depending on what my biofeedback is today. So 14, 12, incline cable flies. We're gonna move on to camera bench next. Yeah, good. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> Chest is pretty, um, pretty pumped. Generally, when you're working up to like potentiation sets, either switching from like an isolation if you're pre-exhausting to a heavy compound, I think you should do it. If we did like cambered bench and then we went over and did like a dumbbell press, it's not necessary to really like warm all the way up into that exercise again and potentiate and all that shit. Here, we're probably gonna work up to like a working load, potentiate, so one or two reps at the top weight and then go into the sets. Uh, so if you do that, or if you switch body parts on the day. So when Joe goes after this, I'm doing my stuff in the PM, but when Joe goes and does like his lateral delts after this, he'll still warm those up again. And then into biceps, warm those up and potentiate again, no matter like what the exercise is. So switching muscle groups, or if you're going from a isolation pre-exhaust first to a heavy compound, that's two really good ideas. Potentiate with either of those scenarios. Ooh, this is gonna be light today, boy. Probably. Or if it feels really light, because I am consistently weighing 260 now. Yeah, so what I would do, yeah, because the app might increase the load, yeah. but we know that you just got to working with this. Yeah. Uh, if it increases the load, decrease it back down, and it'll yeah. change your rep scheme. Yeah. Because next week, it's probably going to say 325 for 10. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you're probably going to get 10 today on your first yeah. set. Yeah. I would just switch it to 315, and, try to and it'll do... either bump you up to 11 or 12 reps yeah. then. Yeah. I wouldn't try to increase load. I know, and that's, this. that's what I'm planning on, because like, even though that's the most boring fucking part of this shit, is not putting weight on, like I'm, what, I'm fucking mass accumulation just trying to get bigger. It's yeah. not gonna fucking serve me to keep pushing yeah. weight on Joe's here. used to just slapping on the pounds. Having the... fun. <laughs> he, he means having fun. <laughs> you're having fun. I right? know, I know, I know. Just, just not whenever you're shit. walking just around and going shit. upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Any other time of the day. Oh, dude. It's, uh, being, being 260 at five foot six, this is like, I'm, I'm get, I'm I was the, 260 at 510, and I I'm getting, <laughs> I to, the, my life. I'm getting to the point where it's like, this isn't okay. <laughs> Bree, Bree's doing the thing where she's looking at me, and she's like, you know, nobody's forcing you to do this. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this feels uh, so much easier after using the other one last yeah, week. Yeah. I but literally felt like I was going for like eight I seconds. Dude, I wouldn't even feel comfortable like contracting hard with that. Yeah, I warmed up a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, out of the it's hole. A, I, and I do yeah. that with the cambered anyways. I don't well, try to produce a shitload no, of force yeah. out of the hole. Well, it's the same thing like if you were to do like this on incline, like you're just in that fucking... Oh, for sure. Dude. But, but that's, the, that's the benefit of this. It's like if I can get comfortable, like me specifically as the individual, if I can get comfortable generating that level of like contractile power out of the bottom, I'm never gonna have to watch it. I fucking knock on wood because then I go back and I tear a pack. But I'm never gonna have to worry about tearing a pack on a heavy bench press <laughs> as a power lifter. But fuck it. Beautiful. It's crazy. This feels like a normal range of motion now, huh? Dude, I know. <laughs> like I'm going down and I touch my chest. I'm like, oh, that's it. Yeah. Huh. That's like I'm really curious to see what it's gonna feel like with at like with a barbell. Okay. Probably cap my load at like 285. Last mess of cycle I was working in like the seven to 10 range on this exercise. I intentionally bumped that up to the 10 to 15 range because I'm likely gonna take a hit now that I'm about 12 weeks into dieting. I'll take a hit with the load. Most people let that get to them and get in their head. As a coach, I shift rep ranges and do more intensity techniques intentionally so that when people are super dieted and lacking a lot of glycogen, 
they're not able to produce as much force. Well, one, they've been training with high volumes for a really long time. So fiber types tend to shift. You don't change them, but they shift more toward different types. I'm pretty fucking like more slow twitch characteristic at this point. And uh, shifting to that higher rep range allows me to not really let that get to my head because I'm going to cap the load anyway. Now I can get more reps, continue getting really good pumps in the gym and just make sure that I'm focused on the performance of the exercise given that rep range instead of I got to keep 315 on the bar, I got to keep 325 on the bar. This is way better from an athlete psychology standpoint. So if you're a coach, keep that in mind as your clients are dieting down, maybe add in a couple more intensity techniques, add in isolation before the heavy compounds because then they're going to see the loads go down, but you're going to remind them, oh, wait, you did an isolation first. They'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. So now I'm a little more pumped. It makes sense that my, my weight on the bar is going to go down just a tad. It's the same, it's, it's the, not the fucking hijack it, but it's like, it's the same rhetoric as what you said on using a different machine for the chest flies yeah. last week versus this week. It's sure. like all your muscles know is stimulus, it's not weight. Bingo. So just fucking, if you can actually apply that logic, not only to like that, but also to everything, like exercise selection and exercise order, you're gonna have a way better time. Absolutely. Not feeling like a fucking dick at the end of a- 100%. Uh, meat prep, uh, comp prep or yeah. whatever. Whereas me, Peak massing, I feel like I can do anything right now. <laughs> Get enough food in you. Yep. Good. Control. <laughs> Rep count? Tired. Tired as fuck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna make a difference when you hit that side chest. Let's go, Jared. Control, just like before, all the time. Yep. Let's go, dude. Perfect execution. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Nothing to it, dude. Let's get it done. Good. Move this over. Tight eccentric. Tight eccentric. That's right. Don't be a fucking dildo. <laughs> <laughs> we already know you bench over 500. Nothing to prove. Yep. This is about growing muscle. Yep. Let's go. There you go. Beautiful. Yes. That's good, that's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> different different fly yeah, variation right. this time. Yeah. Yeah, but that's still all right. Good shit, man. Good yeah. shit. I had way more of a pump going into this. 100%. Post those than 100%. the pec deck, so. And that's probably good. Yeah, exactly. So, Because again, it's about stimulus, not the weight. So years ago, I'd be like, fuck. 100%. But, I remember my first uh, my first ever attempt at 405. You know, yeah, yeah. Bounce off the chest, yeah, oh, ass yeah. comes yeah, off a little dude, bit. Yep. I would get so fucking mad oh, yeah. when I wouldn't get it. Yep. God fucking damn it, dude! I look back on like how I train. Like, how am I not day. more injured? Yeah. How am I not more injured? And I was like, how did I have the mental energy to fucking freak the fuck out like I always do did? It's crazy. If I hear. It's giving. It's giving. One more fucking time. Somebody's getting teeped in the face. I swear to fucking God. It's, it, it's giving a little judgment. No, no, you said, hey, you don't do that. It's giving judgment. Uh, I dude, wanna I fuck. The thing, that, <laughs> the thing that gets me, it's the fuck, it, it's yapping. Where did yapping come from? Like real fucking yappers like all oh, the yap queen and it's like what does that mean and it's talking shit 
Why can't people just say talk shit? This is like a 1990s. Yap? Yapping. So I didn't you have are, the internet you back then. You were in the Midwest, know. Midwest, brother. <laughs> I guess. I was in the Midwest. The yappers. I don't know what That's the fuck redneck that is. That's some redneck shit. Yeah. Man, why well, are you yapping so goddamn well, no, much? You're going to yap, we're going to scrap. That's what okay, we used to yeah, say. No, yeah, I get that. <laughs> but, it's, but it's like it, it's transitioning to more of like the fucking, I don't want to say like more the city kids, but sure, more of the city okay. kids. Because I was a city kid. So it just pisses you off when yeah. you hear a city kid say it. Yeah, it's Fuck confusing because it's like, why are you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> No, this is going to get me canceled. I'm like, why, why are we intermingling? <laughs> why, are you taking from, why are you taking from my culture, bro? You get mad when I do it. Terrible. You get mad when I do it. Don't be taking my redneck shit. Oh, fuck. You guys like that? Can, can you hear that on the, on the, on the mic? <laughs> All right. Collection is gone. Your chest Ooh. looks fucking crazy. Thank you. Just we're getting there. Yeah. Through the team for like eight or seven. Seven to eight, probably. We're uh. Doing this, I think we have one more push potentially. If not, it's just a, a tricep exercise. I'll have to look. Is it triceps next? Yeah. I think we have me, a, yeah. Neither should the Viking though. Yeah. You want to try that? Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be that great for it. Okay. Just the handles don't turn the way you need them to. Okay, yeah. We're going to try I a new even, tricep exercise. I though. didn't even try it, so I was like, okay. Oh, no. We could give it a go. Just I, don't, I don't give a fuck, man. Like. <laughs> Because it's also like you got to think like we're both going to be in Chicago next weekend, right? And I'm going to be gone the week after that, so it's like right. I don't, I yeah, don't I might as well use a fucking cable, something yeah, we can be yeah, consistent with. Yeah, yeah. Training partners. Yeah. That's why you have them. Come on. Last one. Come on, Joe. Toward me. Yep. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Hell yeah. Ooh-wee. Dude, and the body weight being this high, like whenever I lay down, my eyeballs feel like I'm gonna explode. Oh yeah. It's terrible. Why do you think I asked you about Thomas Harton? Oh, that makes I'm sense. I'm like, ha, ah, I think there's some uh, pressure. Let's control pressure that a bit, right? How are you? Is, is today a uh, bent road day or is it your other lake stuff? Other lake stuff. Okay. Uh, everything one set. For the lakes. Yeah. For the lakes. You have other shit though. You have back stuff too, right? It's this, already uh, single stiff legs, belt squat, and then core and cross. Okay. One set for all of them. Yeah. Hard. To failure. Yeah. But hard. Like, but I only want one. You're 12 days out. I don't want your legs super inflamed for next week, whenever we start to peak you. I understand that this is different than what you're used to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's going to help you a lot with inflammation and stuff going into peak. So your legs actually look super crispy. Better analogy, the Mack truck needs to break earlier than the Ferrari. Exactly. So much if you were a bikini girl, I'd be like, all right, Wednesday, we Midwest stop training. Ah, I'm talking about trucks. I know, I know what that means. <laughs> we got to speak Missouri in Kansas to her. Yeah, I forgot about that. A yeah, yeah. Well, you, now you, now you, listen here, all right? There you go. I need you to do one set each each Just exercise. Tobacco. All right. There you go. All right. <laughs> okay. Cool. cool. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You're big. You're jacked. You hold a lot of inflammation. So I stopped training my legs two weeks out. I don't touch them. Yeah. So 12 days is good. So on the app, I use a different camber bar. What it was supposed to be 280 for 11 and then seven. I got 285 on this camber bar for I think 12 was the first set. We'll watch it back. Guys, you can tell me I'm stupid and can't count if you see this and 
And then I think I got uh, seven or eight. So I beat performance from last week there, which is awesome. And then the next exercise that's planned is a tricep exercise. Generally, I do my triceps, lateral delts, and biceps in the PM. But since the chest volume is so low, like we just did four total sets. Um, I'll probably end up doing the tricep exercise at least with Joe. We're gonna change it from the Viking. I was gonna do a behind the head Viking press. It's basically like a barbell overhead extension, but with the Viking press, because me and Joe, our shoulders don't exactly do this very well anymore. Um, we'll probably just end up doing some kind of cable, uh, vertical pushing system, like a, probably like a push down or something, Joe. Have we done moderate matching with push downs yet with you? I haven't. Let's no. try it out. Yeah, I think okay, you'll like yeah, it. I'm cool. I, yeah, I bet. Like, admittedly, I fucked around on it, like in some of the my, okay. uh, not in some of the mesocycles, just because it was there. Yeah. But like, I haven't done it deliberately with you. Let's so, do it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So we're gonna do that. You guys have seen me put a bunch of people through that shit before. Nick Walker, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, two sets for me, and then that'll be the uh, AM session. And then Joe's gonna go off and do like his delts and biceps stuff. So doubles go up and behind. It's like close to your body as you can get. Basically, you're trying to touch your elbows behind your body together. So back here. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Down the body. And then the elbow should lead backward this way. You're almost like pulling it into you. Up to the belly button. Is that good? Yeah, go down. But then the first motion should be back this way. Exactly. Yes. There you go, Joe. Down the body. Yep. Good. Big stretch. When I'm pressing, is it pressing down or pressing out in front? Kind down. Of? Down and towards your knees. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then it should be got drafting it, it this it, way. That was back. Yes. different plane kind of like different position for the shoulder and instead of being like I could do this with the whole fucking this is not fucking hard all you guys stacking the fucking I'm not impressed yeah I, know. <laughs> I hate that shit they're just like yeah. oh. like put some fucking effort into the eccentrics up and back stretch okay I got it. Visually, yeah, Joe, Joe instead of this, yeah, you want this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Like visual, seeing you do it yeah. visually, that that helps. So there you go. Elbows back toward me. Yes. Two or three sets, we'll do moderate match, so first set's gonna be hard. The tone. Yep, got it. So a million times on the channel, but moderate matching. First set's gonna be like 15 to 20, probably. From there, we'll moderate match on either one or two extra sets, depending on how the pump and everything is. I might add a set. Just triceps, never hurts. Oh. Prep's prepping. Yep. And you don't even have a show yet. I know, it's fucking, hilarious. That is the thing, guys. So I am prepping for a show. I guess I haven't announced that. I'm not even picking one until I have glute striations. <laughs> so you guys will see me in shape this year. No more, uh, no more rice cakes in the sauna, right? Yeah, or something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. Some made up, what other made up bullshit can we think about? <laughs> I saw it, but like I was drinking a gallon the whole time. Like my weight didn't really change. Yeah, you know? I don't know what happened. Let's hope I don't break my hip before the show, you know? Yeah, you know. Take some Kratom, you'll be fine. <laughs> Swipe up and use my code. Fuck. <laughs> Do your set!
There you go. Same control. Yeah. Talk about <sighs> slow twitch adaptation. Come on. Oh my fucking god, Al. Something, something, epigenetics, something, something. <laughs> yep, elbow short me. There you go. Tuck those elbows behind you. Try to touch them together. Yep. Come on. Good, Joe. That was back. Come on. Control the stretch. Ugh. Yeah. 12. A little harder this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's the thing. It's fucking, I need arms. I need arms, delts, and hamstrings. We're working on it. Well, they're all fucking growing. Show your lats. No, I know. That's, I was telling Mario behind the camera that uh, I've been competing in powerlifting as a 220 competitor since like 2016, 2017. This is the first go round that I've actually like given myself the opportunity to eat in a caloric surplus and train specifically for hypertrophy. So I'm doing bodybuilding, but it's not like I want to just hop into a bodybuilding show to get lean and just say I did it. It's like I want to give my best effort and like go in and actually look like I know what the fuck I'm doing. So cleaning up the physique, getting big, getting huge, and then I'll fucking diet when I get tired of eating, which is now, but we'll get there. It's all interesting stuff, but don't ever disrespect my cameraman again. Huh. It's Mario. Mario. <laughs> fuck out of here. Yeah. It's Mario, not Mario. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Jared. Oh, oh my fucking God. I see my shirt that's like a Nike symbol, but it says I just can't. <laughs> that's how I feel right now. Sure what you can do, set. Yep. I'm gonna kind of close out at least the training portion of the video. I'm gonna go back there and hit a couple of poses. Maybe you guys can see that too. That's it for my aim session. I'll do a PM tonight. Lateral delts and biceps, like six sets total. First video back, hopefully I have more to come. I feel like me and Joe, we generally have some pretty cool discourse during the, uh, during the sessions. So a lot of value in these videos. I'm gonna go to the back and get naked and force my cameraman to uh, take some video of me.